Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hopefully go about resolving if you're having an issue with your iPhone importing into your computer and there's some sort of issue along the lines that it doesn't actually let you import files and it says something went wrong, your files might not have been imported. Again, this would have to do with the iPhone. So this will hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the Start menu. Type in Services. Best result, you go back with Services listed right above App. So go ahead and left-click on that. Locate the Apple Mobile Device Service. So go double-click on that. If Service Status is running, go ahead and, and select Stop. And then you want to select the start button to start it back up. Startup type, make sure that is set to automatic there. And then go ahead and select OK to close out of here. Another thing you can do is go ahead and actually open up iTunes. Select the file tab. And then select home sharing. And make sure home sharing is turned on here. So go ahead and turn that on. And then at this point, enter in your Apple ID information. Just make sure that is turned on. Close it here. Again, if you're still having a problem after doing all of that, you can take it a step further and open up the Star menu. Type in Apps and Features. Best result should go back with Apps and Features. Go ahead and left click on that to open it up. You want to go down this list or search this list for Microsoft Photos. And best match, you're going back with Microsoft Photos. Go ahead and left click on that and select Advanced Options. Go ahead and scroll down and select where it says Reset. If the app isn't working right, we can try and repair it. This app's data will not be affected. Go ahead and select Repair. And hopefully at this point it should be working. If you're still having a problem, you can try resetting it. However, please note that the apps data will be deleted, so make sure you make a backup of any important files or photos before you do that. But we can go ahead and try the reset option here. And like I said, this will permanently delete the apps data on this device, including your preferences and signed in details. Go ahead and select reset. And then hopefully at this point, your issue should have been resolved. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.